Hello everyone! It's been wonderful to receive some of your feedbacks on our last uh, journey of Star Seed Awakening. Thank you very much for your comments, questions and also donations. So we are inspired to continue our journey and uh, what a better way than to set out on the adventure. We are about to discover even more of the fascinating topics. Today we are in we are looking for the sense of cosmic family. It's a nice invitation to go out a little bit and see what we might come across along the way. Let's go. When traveling towards the cosmic cradle or at least discovering its origins. There are many elements in the journey that might call your attention. And I would say it's good to pack a little bit of patience in your gear and take time to discover, to see what calls you to look at some signs on the way. Just now Blackbird has showed us the way this direction. Uh, speaking about the portal, about the corridor that we are engaging in uh, on our way. So occasionally there might be an opening. You see something that speaks to you, you engage with it and then you, you again are just in this way of following the way and seeing where does it guide you. Yeah, and in order for us to be able to get there comfortably, one thing that speaks to me a lot are those walls that were built at the road that we are using. Because I remember decades ago as I was going that way, it was mostly by walking, so right now it all modernizes to meet the needs of, let's call modern human, also we are traveling with car now. But uh, just to see the level of um, barriers we have to build with nature in order to create the conditions for um, our equipment as humans to reach that sense of destination. We are very close. And the spot we will be joining with as the road ends, um, I guess can reveal some of the basic dynamics in uh, terms of cosmic family. So let's see. So you could see the doors are closed, which means that, um, yeah, we're coming outside of the opening times, but I feel that's even better for us to really discover uh, on our own and see what spoke to us, what calls us and where are the reflections guiding us. Um. So maybe let's join the herbal garden first. And look at it. One thing that uh, stood out as we walked in the herbal garden outside the monastery that it is created out of 11 rows of beds, meaning there are 22 all total because all are in pairs. But uh, the numerology or the number of it implies um, various, what I would say, various influences. I would say like a cosmic imprints of different energies that um, are ingrained in that human story. So it's just an interesting reflection. <laughs> it's another source point, and this occasion guided with uh, her trees, really a big representative of its species. So the ones that are following our videos. We can say that Christ's consciousness 
is accompanying the source point of um, this particular location. So it might be interesting to see how it can help us weave together all of these different cosmic realities, aspects of cosmic family into one. When visiting sacred places like the whole valley where the monastery is located, it's always a fascinating thing to discover that the actual sacred spots are a little bit hidden or outside of um, where the buildings or the most obvious uh, infrastructure is. So we were guided just a few hundred meters away in the woods and shown by the guardian some of the places where monks were believed to have their own spot of connection. The space is called Cosmic Ray. So that was that their own sense where they were connecting with the universe, at least as the story, as the legend goes. But coming to the place, we wanted to connect with different energies that are nowadays present there. So we have quite some of the um, energy work in releasing some of the ancient presence that was trapped in the stones, serving as a sense of guardian, as the sense of, um, let's call it mother, for uh, different energies that were coming there to meet people, but couldn't truly, the connection, the link couldn't truly be established. And um, yeah, I had to activate some of the dragon powers today to help us um, yeah, reconnect the two, reconnect the higher and lower aspect. And I feel we are a step closer to really discover more of the cosmic cradle. So, yeah, just a tremendous place in nature to engage with and to see as we are guided there. It's been a tremendous process as we felt the presence is, or being accompanied by a presence that was called an ant mother which spoke of the ancient presence that is yeah having some motherly role about the various we can call reptilian energies that are currently present in society and uh, on the other hand with another rock we have represented the guardian presence a sense of Lemurian, original human, that uh, was there to take care, steward, uh, yeah, anchor uh, the cosmic energies in the land. And then the process of reconciliation happening amo among those two. So it's been really taking us, let's say taking us, all the way back to the times when humans as uh, embodied beings came to the earth plane with a specific mission that would be at that point to be guardians of the earth and this i feel is reflected very well with that monastery we are looking here into the reality let's say of cosmic cradle and different seeds that has been placed within this reality within the earth plane and how they sprouted which is reflected maybe with the story of that monastery as it is today where we see different styles different materials even buildings from different times different influences here uh, which can be the sprouted seeds of that cosmic influences that were placed once here. And the interesting thing that came up on our journey was the question about the conductor. So who is the conductor? Who is guiding the orchestra of these cosmic souls? 
the moment I start speaking about the conductor, I get that our flow of the energy, where old conductor is feeling trapped. Because I'm about to say that there is no conductor, and that the one that has been leading, acting and presenting itself as the conductor is the Fallen God? <laughs> I, I, I hasten to use this word, so I better skip it. But it's the energy that has been very successful in keeping somewhat coherent unity, which doesn't truly really work. And because the real conductor, the original force, energy of life itself, the bare movement, of the quantum field, of the source energy has been misplaced by the conductor. Let's call it like this. And the closer we come to the cosmic cradle, the more we are invited to recognize our own frequencies. So which accord are we Call to play and then trust that truly by expressing those everything around us will realign, resonate and reflect this harmonized frequencies into orchestra, into sound that one wants to hear, like the bird. And just releasing that need to have a conductor opens the doorway to start discovering the elements that are present, the seeds of that playground that Earth once was and is set to become again. So the da dancing floor for stars honoring the life and reality as it is here. Then one can easily recognize that the actual keys, the actual symbols are not hidden within the walls, within the old structures that were built. That is the cage where old humanity resides. Uh, with all that's going on, and we've been talking about and probably will still address. But uh, for the end, we were actually guided to stop just again outside the corner, this time in the circle, made out of, on the outside, eight stones. On the inside, there are three, so we have again 11 uh, numerology. And then at the beginning, at the gates, the twelve, the gatekeeper. So, what it speaks to me is simply an invitation about the round table that we are right now invited to partake, or maybe even to facilitate, in discovering the particular elements in cosmic cradle. So the characteristics of unique energies, it's really important to keep in mind that basic idea that all of us carry within ourselves. And that I would say is the connection to Gaia, to a being that hosts us all, to the key element of that game that we are playing, to the key factor that is also shifting, moving, asking either for our attention or allowing us to heal, to connect, to unite and dream. Dream our cosmic dream, bring it into reality. So that's the round table and the sacred places reflected with this monastery that I believe speaks into the dynamic of cosmic family honor. 
it asks it asks of us to recognize why we are here the yearning we all carry within our souls and in our hearts and then just to recognize different ways how different people different souls imagine how to carry this dream forth and it's not about finding one particular reality and saying that's it it's neither about finding one particular leader that will harmonize and unify it all but it's stepping into the role that each one of us is there to have to play the seed that is within ourselves and starting to resonate reflect in the environment out there and uh, yeah that's just some little window into the cosmic family and we are about to discover way more i guess but patience patience was one of the big lessons for us today so in order to unravel this big cosmic mystery which is not even a mystery but just a story of our souls here we can do it just step by step progressively taking out the ways that were put into our perception of reality until we recognize ourselves as the intricate element of this one big cosmic dream that in this valley turned out as the monastery and with this i would just like to acknowledge the energy that is stepping in coming here so what's actually hidden behind the door Behind the walls, the actual sanctuary is moving in the woods. The adventure of this Sunday has brought us a step closer towards the light, towards the sun as the source of that cosmic energies that are radiating and coming to the earth plane and that will help us to truly connect and bring that sense of cosmic cradle alive in the harmonized unity here on the earth. So it's been such a pleasure to have you join us on the adventure, to feel more and more of the incoming energy and um, thank you for all that has taken a part, that assisted us in the process today. And uh, it's just the beginning, it's just the beginning. There is so much more to come and Forest Sanctuary is really getting ready to host you soon. It's just a teaser of where the next level of Cosmic Family is going to meet and take place. Thanks for joining us.